Northwest Bus Sales. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2010 Ford Federal. Let's check it out. Uh, first things first, this is on the Ford E450 Super Duty chassis. Powered by the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine. Of course a company with a automatic transmission. I got a uh, Michael behind the camera here. He's going to show you the uh, front passenger side tire there. Looks like it's a good year. Mike, how much tread do you think is left on that? Oh, I'd say about 85%. Mike's saying 85% left on that uh, front passenger side tire there. Uh, one thing I want to point out about this bus, uh, does have a, uh, this is a dual door chassis, which means that there's actually a co-pilot door here. Not too common in the shuttle bus world, but Federal was always known for that. So you do have a co-pilot seat here. Just want to point that out. And we'll show a few more features once we get inside. Uh, Coming on inside, we have a uh, electrically operated bifold passenger entry door, uh, gray ribbed uh, IOA stepway, white step nosing, a little uh, key switch here that allows the, you to open and close the door from the uh, outside. I haven't verified if that's working or if we have the key, but it is equipped. But um, yeah, so coming on inside. All right, coming on inside. Um, first thing I want to point out is the miles, only 67,000 miles on a bus of this vintage. That is pretty dang low. So uh, good to know there. Uh, coming in here to the left, I want to point out does have uh, powered locks and powered windows. This is uh, very uncommon in a shuttle bus as it only comes when you do the uh, dual door chassis here. So it does have power windows for both windows and powered locks. Uh, looks like we got the cruise control bus and mit button missing here. That's definitely something we can get if that bothers you. Uh, their cruise control uh, uh, controls over here. Uh, to the right, we got your uh, driver climate controls down here. And then uh, up here, your door control, dome lights, rear heat in the back, three position toggle switch, and your uh, rear AC up there. Uh, I want Mike to show you the, uh, the driver and co-pilot seat there. Looks like it's got a little fading on it from the sun or something like that, but uh, as far as uh, any big holes, foam sticking out, anything like that, looks great going all the way up. On both sides, again, just some fading there. Nothing too crazy though. All right, so uh, in the back here, we have a total of uh, 19 in the rear, 20 is the co-pilot and then plus a rear luggage area. This being a Federal, does have kind of the uh, spaceship style radius body, you can see that, and uh, pretty much the biggest windows in the industry. Mike can show you these windows on the inside. If you're doing tour and charter or, you know, sightseeing, things like that, these are huge windows with uh, very little uh, gaps in between them. So uh, big windows, big T sliders, gives you lots of visibility. Uh, as far as the seats, these are Freeman Featherweight high back seats. They do have recliners on them as well. So it'll go back and forth there. And then um, as far as the seat covers go, they look great. No big rips, cuts, tears, no foam sticking out. Seats look awesome. And uh, right, right behind Mike here, that's your uh, that's where your AC comes out of. It is in the front bulkhead as well. And then, um, yeah, we'll come uh, check out the outside. All right, Mike's gonna show you the rear passenger side duels as well as the undercarriage. Give you a nice pan of that. Looking good. All right, come around the back. Uh, a lot of times this is the, where well, you'll see the most damage on the buses on these corners here. Drivers backing into stuff. We don't have a whole lot of action here, just a little tiny scratches here and there nothing too crazy no big fiberglass damage on that side anything like that uh, here's your rear luggage area um, you will notice there are tracks in the floor um, basically it is a uh, it's an adjustable luggage wall so you can move that uh, back and forth if you need to add seats or um, you know if you don't need as much luggage space kind of very versatile floor plan you can move things move that back and forth to exactly your wants and needs 
All right, uh, coming around this side. Again, a tiny bit of action here. Looks like we do have a little bit of a fiberglass chip there, as well as a little bit of action on the bottom. Looks like it's been painted over, so you can't really see it, but if you look up close, just want to be transparent and point out that it's there. Again, if Mike can show you the uh, these windows, you got a total of four big windows on this bus. So for sightseeing or even conversion, you got a lot of uh, light that can uh, come in and you know, you can, uh, that definitely great for, uh, for any tour operator. Uh, Mike's showing you underneath again, as well as the rear driver side duels. And uh, we do have a driver side running board that allows for an extra step coming on into the bus. Basically an extra step for your driver there. And last but not least, we have your front driver side tire. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. If you like this bus or any other buses in our lot, you can call us at 1-800-231-7099. Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.